Hello, and thanks for watching this Acumatica video on performing bank reconciliations. So if we open up the banking menu, if you've seen in our other videos, we talked about import bank transactions and process bank transactions. These are a good guide to get your bank reconciliation going, meaning we can bring in transactions from the bank and get them into a pre-cleared state, which will help our bank rec. So if you have any interest in that, you may want to look at these videos first before going further. So we go into our bank reconciliation statement screen, and you can see all of the different recs that have been performed, when they've been performed. And here we're going to create a new one. We pick the cash account. And a few things here. First, Acumatica will give us the last reconciliation date. This reconciliation date is typically the next month, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to simulate that. And Acumatica chooses to load documents up to that same date, which means if you're behind, you're not going to see all the future transactions. Now, the other thing you can see is the beginning balance and the reconciled balance, which of course is the same because we haven't marked off any receipts or disbursements. And over here, we put in our statement balance. This is the balance that's on our bank statement. So I'll put that in there. And then we'll go through and we'll check off the transactions that we need to. Everything that's on the bank statement. Now everything is fine except that we're off by $5. And when I look at the bank statement, what I can see there is we have a bank charge for $5. So what we can do on the fly here is create an adjustment. And the first thing we're asked is the entry type. Now entry types are aliases. They're aliases to chart of accounts, either expenses or revenue accounts, depending upon whether it's a receipt or disbursement. So I'll select one. These are defined at the cash account level. There's a master area to create all your entry types. And then you include them in your cash accounts. We'll give it a doc date, so we'll just say uh, 4 2013 We'll get a reference. Uh, since the bank doesn't give us an invoice number, we'll just use that date. It's $5. And notice the expense account. As I mentioned before, the expense account comes from the entry type, but we can override it if we have the rights. And additionally, the sub account. Now, this is creating a transaction. This transaction is on hold currently. So we can take this off hold, certainly, and save it. Now, this transaction shows up in the bank rec, but notice I can't reconcile or clear it. And that's because even though we create this transaction for convenience on the fly, Acumatica doesn't actually give us the option to release it. So that we do by clicking on into the transaction and we can see the transactions created here. And we'll go into the Actions menu and release it. And we'll come back and we'll refresh. And Acumatica lost our ending date here when I refreshed, but let's put that back in there. And now you can see I can mark off that $5 entry. Everything is reconciled. I can take it off hold and release it. And that's our bank rec. So another couple of things here, just to keep in mind, we have this toggle reconciled. We also have toggle cleared. Basically what that does is it checks all of the records that are available based on the load up to date. It'll turn them off and on. The reconciliation cleared. Reconcile process actually is helpful if you do a process bank transaction. So if you do import and you do use that screen, process bank transactions, then you can simply come in here, reconcile process, and everything that's been pre-cleared will get automatically selected. It can save you a lot of time on doing your bank rec instead of matching up your bank statement one by one. So that's just a couple of things that'll help you as well. Keep in mind also, a lot of people create filters. So I, maybe I wanna create a filter to show all of my receipts. Well, to do that, I might click here, add a filter that says basically, all of my disbursements are equal to zero. Okay, so I'll save that and I'll say 
receipts. And I'll click OK. And then maybe I'll copy this and call this disbursements. Click OK and change this where the receipts are equal to zero. And save it and apply. And now I have a nice drop down that basically gives me my disbursements and my receipts. And all it's really doing is filtering by the zero, but it's pretty helpful. Some people like to go through all their receipts first and then all their disbursements second. Now, I always get the question, you know, what happens, I'm looking at my reconciliation statements, and what happens, I see a problem with this one, 228. In order to get back to this one, you must void all the subsequent ones. So, as shown above, there's a void button. You would void this, and then you'd have to continue back, and then recreate the bank recs. So that's it, bank reconciliation, pretty easy in Acumatica. If you have any questions, please see our slide at the end for contact information. Reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks again.